shots. The Israel fans will ditch the match officials and their players will get the United. And the game is set to Uh, kicking towards the community stand end at the high street, uh, left to right as we look at it, and uh, Maidenhead from right to left, and immediately a long ball's played forward uh, from the number 17, Sam Beckwith, playing at uh, left back, and uh, it's quickly going to find touch over on the far side uh, for a throw, come off Mo Silla. In shorty, because if it goes to the final line, it's just Glover against three big fellas. Here's Donnellan, who, by the way, is playing on the right of midfield. The Maidenhead side, now I've got the formation right, I can give to you as Blissett flicks it on. And then Corey Jordan clears it only as far as Blissett. He's down by the byline, looks to pull it back, it's blocked. The first real big test here, Rob. Um... Yep, some big guys in there, Blissett in on Walker. In it comes to the near post and it's headed away off two players, headed back in by a Maidenhead player, headed on by Blissett and, and Maidenhead chances to get it towards the goal. Good defending, all the shot players getting in front of it a couple of scary moments there's a good win from Jaden Harris and he feeds away uh, he feeds Harris Harris has just beaten the offside trap he's into the edge of the area squares it across he wasn't sure whether to shoot or cross in the end he did a sensible thing drove it across the face of goal but it was too fast and too far in front of Glover by Dan Sparks finds Beckwith who drags it across but that's a poor ball Whittingham onto the ball just controls himself and then chips a the ball down the line for Glover to run on to. And uh, it's not the best header. Glover can get on to that. He's going towards goal now. He checks back onto his left foot. He's not got a lot of support. One against five he is. He's into the area now, tries the shot. Oh, and it was flying into the top corner at the near post. And now we know a little bit about Dan Gioli because that was a magnificent save and well done Ryan Glover working all on his own there. Yeah, he, he was up against at least three Magpie defenders, Rob. Um, did very, very well to hold up the ball. Look for There was only Harris who was with him in the box. He had no other option apart from to take it on himself and I'm glad he cut back and had a go at goal. At least it's a shot on target. Good uh, pot after the first one and he should have just concentrated on what he was doing there. <laughs> probably no better than the 6 out of 10 so far for Oxlade Chamberlain which is frustrating because he he does look like a footballer who can oh, play oh and he's just given the ball away there to Sparks Sparks to Kelly Kelly breaking to the edge of the area trying to get it on his right foot for a shot comes in great finish from Kelly and Aldershot have conceded right on half time again needlessly the ball given away uh, sadly by Oxlade Chamberlain and uh, Sparks inside to Kelly uh, and a game that had absolutely nothing in it. The shots are going to go in 1 0 down. The goal come in 45 plus 3. Now it's yeah. well picked up by uh, Sparks, who plays it forward only as far as Oxlade Chamberlain, who feeds Whittingham. All the shot just looking a little bit brighter in these last couple of minutes. Here's Oxlade Chamberlain uh, in on the right hand side of the penalty area, holding it up, shakes his man off, clips the ball in. It's over, everybody. Half cleared only as far as Edsa. Right foot yes! shot, goal! Toby Edsa on his return with his weaker foot, just driven low to the goalkeeper's right and Aldershot somehow, some way, are back in this. Aldershot town one, Maidenhead one. Well. Drift past one, thinks about a second, plays it to uh, Harris. And I think you're right, you know, thinking back, it was the 23 shirt. Oh, there's a good ball down the right-hand side. Glover squares it across, shot comes in. Oh, oh for Woley, got his shot away and it's bundled away at the near post by Dan Gioli. And as quiet a game as it's been, in fact, no, he didn't. He must have just... Was he offside, perhaps? I'm know. not sure. But uh, for Woley, the ball came in from Glover and for Woley diverted it towards goal and it's been given as a goal kick. Right. Charlie Adams, Kinsella comes inside, tries a ball down the line finds Agupong who slips, regains his feet again. Then he's tackled, the ball breaks loose into the area. That's got to be a penalty, not given. Breaks loose again, cleared. The whole crowd called for penalty as Harris got the ball just inside the area and went down. Robert Massey, Ellis was unmoved. Counter-attack now from Maidenhead as uh, another player goes down and the referee continues to give nothing. Phillips comes away with the ball. Cool. I, can't... I, I, I can see that being given sometimes, but then again, I think you know the referee's played so well and, and, and you know I kind of just take perhaps we've been a bit roast-tinted here. But Well, this time the referee does give a free kick for Harris when I thought that's the one he wouldn't give. 
Can Lewis Kinsella send a left-footed ball into the box that ends up in an all-shot town goal? What a finish it would be if he can. He's way out on the left touchline. One last chance. Kinsella steps forward, balls into the far post. It's headed down. Harris with the shot. That's blocked. Out to Edsa. Uh, Edsa goes all the way back to Walker. The final whistle goes. We don't get the grandstand finish. But Aldershot down do pick themselves up. A useful point here at the EBB. Just one defeat in nine now for Mark Molesley's men. Not their greatest performance, but they were gritty. They kept at it. They got themselves a point. They remain six clear of Maidenhead. And the final score, Aldershot Town 1, Maidenhead 2. Here with his final... Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.